so I'm going to introduce the Turing Way. So here's our team, very hard at work. And the, down, yeah, so the Turing Way is a lightly opinionated handbook for reproducible data science, and its aim is to make uh, reproducible data science too easy not to do. Um, it is openly developed on GitHub, uh, it has a main repo and a book repo, um, so what our goal for today was to see how easy it was for people to contribute to the project, uh, feedback um, anything that we encountered back into the documentation on the website, and then also contribute to the project today. So my particular uh, contribution to this was to write a new chapter on risk assessment in um, software swap X case TV and um, uh, Lost Raptors was good. So we can have a look on the page here. Um, this is the chapter I've put together. And uh, so it's about helping people come to decisions of, about what practices are appropriate for their piece of software. Scroll down to the figure, we can see we've got this matrix of risk where we've got the complexity of software and the impact of the software going wrong. And getting people to start thinking about do we need to be using version control, is that overkill? Do we need to start bringing in review and all these kind of things to try and build together quite a, quite a well <laughs> way of deciding what software engineering practices to actually use. Okay, so, yeah, great, thank you. Um... Okay, so uh, I went diving to see what I could achieve, and I decided it would be worth improving the coverage of the uh, code quality, shall we say, in the broader sense, parts of the Turing Way. Uh, before today, there was no section on code reviewing. Now, there is a section on code reviewing. And uh, what you're looking at here is actually what the book version of that new section looks like. So if we've gone through with uh, Richard's stuff, you'd have seen the same thing. But here you sort of see what it actually looks like when it's pulled into the Turing Way. Most of what you're seeing today is still sitting as pull requests on the Turing Way website because we're following good review practice. <laughs> but uh, this is what it will look like once it gets pulled in. Uh, I think that's largely what I was going to say. That's it. Thank you. Cool. Okay, so I sort of just dived in there and start looking at a few little mistakes in there, tidying things up, and. I had a lot of questions about how we do things, how best to edit, and I got told we needed a style guide, or I at least hope they meant the code needed the style guide. <laughs> um, so, so I started writing that one, we put it together, it's been approved, we've got it in there, it just gives you that little bit of information to make everyone a bit happier, a bit more confident in adding things to the document. And we, we really learned a lot. I made my first uh, pull request on GitHub. <laughs> Um, and I think Robin and Richard and I also really use GitHub collaboratively to, to edit and, and do lots of things. So it's been a really great learning experience. We had a lot of fun and hopefully, and I'm sure it will be a really useful resource for people to use uh, in the future. Amazing. And this is my very cheesy thank you at the very end. That um, in a sense, our project was the most boring project. Um, but in a sense, it's also the most, I think it's, it's incredibly useful for me particularly to sit around the table and see where people are hitting blockers of being able to contribute. And so we've learned so much from the really fantastic conversations and it's been like the dream, the whole idea when I was sitting in a coffee shop in Berlin was that people would be able to sit down and spew out a thousand words about their expertise and get it into the book straight away. And that is exactly that is exactly what we had today. So thank you so much, team. Thank you.